names I can really question is I'm an African, Nigeria to be precise. I used that I kids state, but I'm a boarding student, so I school at Federal Government Girls College of Undo State, the Sunshine State. Now, two years ago, I and my friends, my friends and I, we started Globe. And looking at the Globe, the reason is the Globe deals with basically everything on it. Both stars, moons, the earth, human beings, of course, even the land, plants, animals. Globe talks about, Globe covers everything. So, looking at the world today, industrialization has taken over, which means more waste. And these wastes are improperly managed. So, for this reason, my friends and I, with the supervision of our teacher, embarked on a project titled The Environmental Impact of Improper Waste Management in Federal Government Girls College. There are some research questions which, by the end of this discussion, I believe we should have maybe provide answers to them. Here are some of them. What are the impacts of open waste dump sites on air and surface temperature? Should residents in these areas be, con be concerned like, about the risk of contracting illnesses and lastly what are the measures that can be taken what are the measures that can be taken in order to reduce and change this behavior well the objective of this project is aimed at assessing the impact of open wisdom sites in air and surface temperature the federal government is pleasure for first take a look at this environment I'm virtually in a waste environment. Now, considering the type of environment, surely, definitely, there will be... This type of environment is congenial, and it helps the growth of much organisms, which contributes to many human illnesses. Now, what is waste? Waste is a useless and unwanted product of human domestic and industrial activities. This waste can be of liquid, solid, and container of gaseous materials. In Nigerian schools today, the issue of waste handling is one of the major issues of concern to human and the environment. Basically, people that live around their surroundings, students and teachers. And the study conducted on the effect of waste disposal methods on community health, federal government and college Apoya has proven that improper waste management and poor environmental hygiene generally can lead to the rapid increase in acute gastrointestinal illnesses and acute respiratory illnesses. These illnesses include malaria, typhoid, nausea, watery school, just to mention a few. And this study was conducted for eight weeks. We chose three dump sites. Here is just one of them. We chose three dump sites for this study. And this study was conducted for eight weeks. And we chose the atmosphere protocol under the group protocol using measuring the clouds, the relative humidity, air temperature, and the surface temperature. Here are some of the instruments which we use for taking the measurement. This is used for taking surface temperature. Why this is used for taking air temperature? So we analyzed our the data we collected during these eight weeks using the mean graph. This mean graph indicates the increase in temperature of the air surface, increase in air surface temperature of this for the as compared to the normal grounds which we use variation. So having concluded this project, we it was gotten that higher temperatures, areas with higher temperatures are associated with higher density of waste, which makes it congenial for microorganisms to breed and reproduce. And waste also as a result of the breakdown of inorganic and organic waste material, it helps release toxic gases to the environment. Toxic gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, which we all know that it's very dangerous for us. And it's even helps to the, the ozone layer. And strong wind also helps play a vital role in the spread of this smell to the environment, which provides a negative social impact on the environment. Well, on the, with the study conducted, there are, there are some recommendations in which can be, can be suggested for the reduce, reduction of the behavior of the residents in these areas. For example, in this school, there are some, reco there are some recommendations. One, waste management, effective waste management should be provided. Equipment to do this should also be provided. Equipment such, like, such, as, such as compaction trucks, skip up loaders, to help carry this waste to proper place to dispose them. Also, Sanctions should be meted out to the total if they violate the 
And public enlightenment should also be given to people on the effect of improper weight and so to ensure that change in behavior because Nigeria today, op in Nigeria today, open wisdom size is very, very common. And having concluded this study and everything, we decided that Globe is one of the most important virtual platforms in Nigeria. And Globe has really helped many people. It has helped scientists to like compare data in which we collect here, in remote sensing, which we collect here, compared to their own. So in case they don't have the opportunity to come down here. So we help them collect and gather data. So they compare in order to ensure that the data they collect here is the same as one we collect here. Well, thank you for listening. I remain at the end of the session.